Hi, I'm Reverend Barbara McPhee, and I welcome you to this time of devotion. I'm so glad that you could be here today. Our call to worship. Here we are, Lord. We're listening to this devotion today for many reasons. We listen because we need to meet you. We need to hear and are hungry for your word. We meet because you are the friend we need most of all. Amen. Our scripture reading is from John 15. It's verse 15. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. Some people have missed the most important thing in life. They don't know God. They know all about baseball scores. They know the stock market quotes. They know the most popular songs and dances, but they don't know about God. And so they don't know how to relate to God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit. And they've missed the most important thing in life because of that. It's so easy to get caught up in distractions. And when you love the world's value system, when you love the materialism, you love pleasure and popularity, you love prestige, passion, possessions, and position. Not that I'm not saying I'm not saying to shun any of that. But when we put that first in our lives, uh, we're missing something. We're missing something. And we get caught up in those distractions. Yeah, everybody likes to be popular. Everybody likes to maybe go out and sing and dance and maybe everybody loves to watch baseball or man, a lot of people. Um, but you have to make time for God. God loves us. And I believe God wants us to love God in the ways God relates to us as God and as Jesus and as the Holy Spirit. God wants us to love ourselves and to love others too. Have you ever thought about having a relationship with God? I know I've talked about this before, recently, but I think it's so important. If you're going to be a friend of God, then you've got to care about what God cares about and to stop spending so much attention on other things. When you do that, you find you don't have time for God. What if you took some time to focus on God, just to talk to God. Sometimes I make a cup of coffee and I sit outside early in the morning just to talk to God. Many times I talk to the Holy Spirit, especially when I'm seeking guidance. For me personally, I need to spend more time in my relationship with Jesus. How about you? Are you ready to deepen your relationship with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit? To talk in, in a relaxed way as you would talk to a friend? Are you ready to do that? Because I think if you're not doing that, you're missing out on so much. Our meditation, the Lord makes his face to shine upon me and is gracious unto me. Let's relax, put our feet flat on the floor, hands in our lap or on a table, breathe in, and breathe out. Nice and relaxed. The Lord makes his face to shine upon me and is gracious unto me.
The Lord makes his face to shine upon me and is gracious unto me. The Lord makes his face to shine upon me and is gracious unto me. The Lord makes his face to shine upon me and is gracious unto me. Let us pray. Dear God, there are so many ways that you are available to us. You are relational. And and each, as God, as Jesus, as the Holy Spirit, you provide for us. You're there for us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. The more we talk to you, the more we spend time with you, the more comfortable we get in relationship with you. I have felt your caresses. I have called upon the Holy Spirit to help me through some really tough times. And I have gained such insight. I have thought in my morning prayers and always give thanks to Jesus that I know what it is to move mountains, to have that kind of faith and to come to understand that it's been the mountains in my own life when I move those, how other things just happen to fall into place. And I think we have to move those mountains in our own lives before we can move other mountains. That's been really helpful. To God, we come to you today with our joys and our concerns. We're so grateful for your blessing. We're grateful for relationships. We're grateful for how you provide for us and care for us. We're grateful, I'm grateful for all of life that surrounds me. I'm grateful that for the beauty in the earth, for the beauty in animals and people and birds and all kinds of life. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for your love and how, and, 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 and how I'm able to be relaxed and talk and come and, and just be with you and, and talk. Thank you, Lord. Well, God, we ask your blessing on us. We pray for all who are sick with whatever kind of illness that they might have. Not just people, but birds and animals, all kinds and all, all kinds of life. We pray healing, healing mercies. For those who are sick, physically, mentally, emotionally, politically, not animals, but people, religiously, we pray, God, that we learn things like how to love one another, how to forgive one another, totally forgive one another, how to accept one another, how to see the beauty in all of life how to be kind and respectful. Pray for those who have anger issues. We pray, we pray they learn how to deal with those. We pray, God, for all leaders of the world that they, they come to understand it's better to build up than to break down. So much better. And what a legacy they're leaving. 
Imagine if they all worked together, what the world would be like. It'd be beautiful. There'd be so much that we could accomplish, so much joy that we could receive. It'd be lovely. So I pray. I pray for the leadership of the world. I do. They can learn to work together. And you know what? That works all the way down. You know, wherever there are groups of people, if you work together, if you're accepting. What a wonderful place. What a wonderful, wonderful world this could be. So I pray for that. I pray for traveling mercies, Lord, for all who travel. And I pray, God, now the prayer that you've taught us to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our thought for the week, I actually have two. Every friendship with God and every love between God and a soul is the only one of its kind. And I so believe that. That's how special. That's how special God is. That God can do that and how special we are. That we're special. God loves each and every one of us as if our soul is the only one of, uh, of its kind. That's the attention that God pays to us. That's by Janet Erskine Stewart. Wow. The next is by um, Rick, I believe it was Rick Murphy. The key to friendship with God, he said, is not changing what you do, but changing your attitude toward what you do. Think about that. It's not changing what you do, but changing your attitude toward what you do. So if you put God first, you can enjoy those other things. You're just not making such a priority of them. Enjoying them, but not making it a priority. <laughs> Our benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. God bless you. Until next week, go in peace. Enjoy your conversations with God. <laughs>